Jack, uh, late goals have been a bit of a, a defining moment in this season mm. and uh, today it's gone our way but I'm sure the three points is the only thing you're really bothered about. Yeah, mate. Um, listen, we, we took a, we took a oh, me in particular took a bit of stick on um, on Monday and rightly so. I, I, I've said from the moment I come to this football club you'll, you'll only get honesty from, from me and some people won't like it um, but that, that's the way I am and Monday wasn't acceptable um, we, we pulled no punches in the change room after in saying that um, and we needed to, to show at a minimum requirement a bit of fight and a bit of determination tonight and um, boy I, I thought we did that listen it, um, uh, the, the pitch is one of those where when they put it in it's really hard to, to defend against I thought we'd done that really well for the first 45 minutes and we said at half time if if we could then try and make them defend for, for longer periods in the second half, we thought we'd have enough. And um, when they go and score, and to be fair, they had a spell for 10 minutes where they put us under an immense pressure. Um, Hoppy's made some unbelievable saves that, to keep us in the game. And then, and then one comes against us and you just think, right, this can go one or two ways now. Um, and I had a joke last week that Tyreek keeps hitting them from, from strange places. And listen, he's took some stick as well in the last few weeks from people. Um, but there's a reason I brought him to this football club. And I think people need to give him a little bit more credit because he scored some vitally important goals for us um, this season. Barton, Waltham, again today. Um, it, it, I know what he offers when he comes to this football club and, and um, he's just done something there that I hope will live in the memory of, um, of, of a lot of supporters. I said on Monday that uh, fundamentals and doing the basics right would would, would win us the game yeah. today. Was that the case? Yeah, hundred percent. Listen, I thought we were I thought we were back back, back at our best today in, in that in um, Mark Riddick unbelievable um, win, winning first. Moriarty got around the second. Sunny in the hole I thought was unbelievable again today. Um, and we just had to do it for longer periods. I said I said at half time um, there's areas of the pitch where I think we could we could just be a little bit better with the ball, um, just retain it. I thought an extra pass was going to be key in the second half just. To to open things up. Um, I thought we did it well. Um, I thought we deserved our goal. I thought that was a little spell that we had where, where we probably should have scored and, and that's not always been the been the case in the last few weeks when we've had good spells so that was important for us but um, we've defended immensely. We've picked up seconds but all those things that I've asked for I think we've done it today and I think um, listen Highworth will feel, will feel disappointed and, and they've, they've I thought they were good tonight. I thought they had a spell where they put us under a lot of pressure um, and made it really difficult for us but um, you know, the first goal you feel like that's a bit of luck because we don't get a lot of those across to come in and it's gone in as an own goal. You know, I feel like we deserve that win, not for because Highworth weren't good, but just for the fact that we've had some really horrible stuff go against us in the last few weeks. And um, sometimes you need a bit of luck, and tonight we had that with the first goal, but that's not what's won the game. The sheer work rate and determination of the balls of what's won us. A big step towards safety, but it's, it's not quite over yet. And uh, going back to your comments uh, previously about mentality, yeah. we need to back it up now with the next two games. 100%, I just said it in there. Listen, that's a vital win, but they've, they've got game in hand still. They, they've got, they go to Romania next Wednesday. Um, they've got more games to play. Romania suddenly picked, picked up a, a little bit and, and they, they're challenging people, but they're not a million miles away. So yeah, I think with seven points, they've got a game in hand, but we've still got two vital games. And I've said it all season, really, apart from Burko, I don't think there's been many games where we've looked a million miles away. Um, and if we have, it's through our own fault, not because of the opposition. So listen, there's two games left and I've just said it in there. That now has to be a building block for us to go and get something from those two games. I'm not going to sit on that and, and think we're safe for, for any stretch of the imagination because this, this level of football, I've seen strange things happen so we have to build on that now and um, take it into Saturday's fixture. Congratulations Jack, well done, get a good bit of rest and we'll see you again in two days <laughs> Thanks, time. Thanks mate, brilliant, thank you.